जनता कर्फ्यू 22 मार्च को घरों से बाहर न निकले न सड़क पे जाएं, न मोहल्ले में या सोसाइटी में इकट्ठे हो अपने घरों में ही रहे This is one of the few times actually this is probably the first time in my life where I've seen the world come to a halt it's not like it's one country or two countries or not a few countries it's almost the entire world on sunday on i think the 22nd of march 2020 narendra modi the prime minister of india announced that there's going to be the first curfew and then a couple of days later he announced that aaj raat 12 baje se pure desh mein dhyan se suniye pure desh mein sampurna desh mein sampurna lockdown hone ja raha hai gharon se bahar nikalne par puri tarah pabandi lagayi ja rahi hai and this for 21 days that can be tough well at least the first time the world's come together It's unfortunate the circumstances under which this is happening but at least it's happening so at least it's at least but at least it's happening so i mean that is something we can be grateful about i think i saw a couple of memes about this <laughs> So I only see it positive, and I think 2020 is turning out to be the greatest year. Mm. I mean, secretly, this is life that everyone wanted. You wanted more time with yourself. You wanted more yeah. time. Everyone's going to these three-day conferences, like I'm saying, spending thirty thousand bucks, mm. and half the people are saying, "Oh, I want to have more time to do what I like." Good, you have all the time now to do whatever you like, right? Mm. So do it. What if you could use these twenty-one days really smartly? One thing that's for sure is that nature can take care of itself. If you might have heard, uh, in Mumbai, dolphins are being seen. In Venice, the water is getting clean. Outside my house, I saw a butterfly. And there's so many things that are happening around the world. The emission levels have gone so much lower. So nature can take care of itself. But with human beings, if you're left alone, we end up looking something like this. I think that's pretty familiar to the generation of today. For human beings at least, we have to ensure that we direct our attention in the right direction to be able to get the results that we want. And that's what this video is going to be about. Shut up, dog. We have an opportunity to work on ourselves. We have an opportunity to build our side hustle. We have the opportunity to spend time with our family. We have the opportunity to learn the skills that we want to. We have the opportunity to rest if that's what we want to do. We have the opportunity to grow a beard if that's what we want to do. We have the opportunity to create the life that we want. and that's what we have today now as someone rightly said an idle mind can be a devil's workshop so it's your opportunity today to make the best of what you have we don't know if this is going to last 21 days a month 3 months or even more than that and this time will fly by too and today you have the perfect opportunity and the time to create a base for whichever direction you want to move in and if you don't do that well it's just time wasted So I'm going to share with you a couple of ideas that can enhance your creativity, can help you learn the skills that you want, can help you set a base for the things that you want and just like 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 get balance in your life. Just spend this time wisely is all I'm suggesting to you and you will never find a better time than today. And today not just like the now but today as in the opportunity we have with this lockdown. you can either come out of it much weaker or you can come out of it with a muscular body much more mental health stronger relationships and a good base for the things that you've been wanting to do for a really long time it's your chance you you decide if you want to take the action or remain in inaction and move backward and if you don't make the best of it i think it's a pretty dumb move on your side whatever it may be 
make the best of it however you define it to be. You have enough time not to make any excuses in your life. So if meditation was something that you've always been wanting to do, start off with five minutes. Maybe use the support of an app like Headspace. Progressively build up from there. Then try seven minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes, then like grow from there. Well, it's a great time to start writing and just checking in. If you've never journaled, here's a trick that really helped me. Start by writing five things that you're grateful for. You know, you can write about doubts in my mind, okay. what I want to achieve and how I'm trying to achieve it. Things I need to tell myself. Things that I probably don't say out loud. Ooh. Menus, menus, blog, research some themes. Right now I'm learning WordPress. Um, maybe you could check out all the skills that you've been wanting to learn but are have been avoiding since a really long time. And Udemy and a lot of online learning platforms are offering free courses these days because of COVID-19. So take the opportunity, pick that up. Look at something that you've been wanting to build, maybe an internet business, maybe a side hustle that's always driven you crazy or that you're super passionate about and put in the research at this point in time. What I'm doing goes hand in hand. I'm hitting two birds with one stone. So what have you been avoiding since a really long time is something you should answer for yourself now. Shut up. Awesome. Stay still. Awesome. I don't know how many of you are aware of this concept um, of a vision board. It's basically having a board of all the things that you want to create in your life and having that in front of you so that your subconscious mind constantly takes that in. And one day, eventually, before you know it, all of those things will be part of your regular life. And since the moment I heard of this, I had wanted to build one for myself, but I was just too lazy to maybe, you know, I thought I never had the time, <laughs> but clearly I do now. So this is where I get started on creating my vision board for the first time. Uh, Michael? Today I'm gonna be learning how to make paneer tikka. One day shooting. Okay, so we're good. Not the best looking, but it'll do. So I have been guilty of not doing pull-ups for a while because I did not have the perfect pull-up rod. A pull-up rod. <laughs> 
Oh shit, this doesn't have um, one side of the rubber. Which... Got it. We're gonna just do the basics and stick some pretty quick. Found it. And it's gonna be there for a while. stopping you is the knowledge and the equipment get started see it's not about doing the perfect workout it's not about having all the equipment it's not about knowing exactly what you have to do so start with wherever you are it's just about showing up and then consistently following through with that everything you learn on the process and if you still feel the need for some guidance, check out the links in the description. Oh shit. <laughs> or you can pick up that book you thought you'd end up reading but it's still lying on your shelf. If you're new to this, focus on a small goal, even if it's like one page a day. My friend started off with five pages a day, today he reads 70 pages a day, which is insane, even if it's less, but show up at So what I mean to say is that um, stop listening to WhatsApp and get like credible sources like WHO, CDC, um, Apollo, they have a chatbot that helps with such stuff. Worldometer is another one. You can use these 21 days to maybe give up smoking if that's something you've been wanting to do. To be the person that you've always desired to be, there is no better time than now. And this is just the starting line so i wish you all the best stay clean keep washing your hands and spread good vibes work on yourself peace bye Yeah. Um.